Welcome to this short training video on how to create an allocation schedule in NetSuite. This video is presented to you by Business Solution Partners. Today I'll show you how to access the allocation schedule entry form, how to enter frequency, start date, and remaining allocations for your schedule. We'll go over how to enter source and destination data for allocations, how to create journal entries from allocation schedules, I'll show you how to review journal entries created from allocation schedules and how to access and edit existing allocation schedules. Before you begin creating an allocation schedule, you need to determine what expenses are being allocated and what is the criteria for the allocation. For example, you can tell the system to allocate everything in one specific account out into multiple accounts or out into departments. Or you can tell the system to allocate only the expenses from a specific vendor within an account out into different accounts or different departments. Today I will tell NetSuite to allocate all expenses in advertising into two departments within the same advertising account. First, let me show you that my advertising expenses of 12000 have no departments assigned to them. And for this, I'm going to run the same income statement report by department. Let's change the department down under column and refresh. And you can see that advertising of 12000 have no department assign assigned to it and that my admin and marketing departments have zero advertising expense. Next, I'm going to create my allocation schedule. I'm using my accountant role today. And in this case, my allocation schedule entry form is under financial list, create allocation schedules. I will name my allocation schedule advertising allocation Because I only have access to one subsidiary, the system is defaulting to that one, but if you have access to multiple and you're creating the allocation schedule for a different one than the one that shows up on your screen, you can select it in the drop-down. The frequency of my allocation is going to be the end of period, but there are other options. You have twice a year, annually, one time. The next date I want this allocation to run is the end of June, because I'm still closing June. I want the system to run this allocation for only three more periods. My allocation schedule is going to stay active, so I'll leave this uh, box unchecked. I'm using today, I'm creating a fixed allocation rather than a dynamic allocation, which is an option here. So the fixed allocation is going to take data from an existing account out into where I tell the system, and it's going to base the allocation either on fixed amount or percentages. Under the source section, you're going to tell NetSuite where to post the credit. And this, the credit means the amount that we're taking out and allocating into uh, somewhere else. So in, the, in my case, I want to credit the advertising expense account, which I'm going to enter here. However, I could tell the system, I want to credit what's an advertising expense, but I want you to take it out of this credit account. So this will serve as a contra account to advertise it. For today's purposes, I'm going to credit advertising, which is 6010, and that's where the, my expenses went. I also want NetSuite to take anything in advertising expense, regardless of vendor and regardless of department. So I'm going to say any department, any location. And I believe on assigned and any work the same way, but just to be safe, I prefer to use any. So now my system is going to post the credit in advertising expense, 
and I want the new debit to go into advertising expense again, but with department. First, I'm going to tell NetSuite that I want my weighting to be based on percentages. So when I click percentages here, as I add weights here, NetSuite is going to read those as percentages. So let me show you how that works, or how that works. So 6010 is where the expense is going to go back into. I don't need to enter a name for vendor or customer, but I do want to enter a department or two departments because this is how I want the allocation to go back in. So 90% of my advertising revenue or advertising expense should go to the marketing department. And the remaining 10% should go to the admin department. And now I have 100% of any values that the system finds in advertising expense. Any value that's sitting in 6010 advertising will be allocated this way. If I had selected use source or credit accounts, what the system would do is whatever account I use in the source tab would be the same account that was going to be debited. So I wouldn't have to specify the accounts here. Now my allocation schedule is ready to be saved. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And the system is saying that my transaction successfully saved. At this point, I can go in and create my journal entry based on this allocation. And let's do that. And NetSuite has posted a journal entry noted as created from allocation. And you can see below that this allocation table found 12,000 in advertising with not departments and it's allocating it 10,800 to marketing and 1,200 to admin based on the percentages that I added in my allocation schedule. If you have segregation of duties when it comes to creating transactions and the approval of transactions or journal entries, the system won't post the transaction or the journal entry at this point. Someone else will have to go in and actually approve the journal entry. In my case, when I created the, the journal entry from the allocation schedule, I have the access to approve at the same time, so I don't have to go back and approve these journal entries. So we can now see the income statement, and I will show you how now I have allocated expenses into my two departments. So let's run this income statement by department and see now that I have zero advertising expense with no department and I have 1200 under admin and 10800 under marketing. I'll now show you how to access the allocation schedules so that you can run next month's allocations. So if you go to financial list, create allocations, or create allocation schedules, and select list, you can find the allocation schedule that I just created. It's scheduled to run on July 31st next, and I have two allocations remaining. You can click on edit to make changes to the allocation schedule, or you can go to view, and you can see the details of this allocation. You can now see under history, you can see the journal entries that you have run from this schedule. So you can click on the entries and see the debits and the credits. 
on July 31st or a few days after, you can go back here and create new journal entries. If the system doesn't find any activity in July in the source account, which is advertising, it will tell you that no transactions were found and it still runs the allocation schedule and July is considered done and next month, the next time you can run this would be August 31st. If you accidentally run an allocation schedule before all transactions hit the source account, all you have to do is edit the allocation schedule and change the date back to the date you want to run it for. So let's say you run the July schedule today and some additional transactions are posted between today and the end of the month in advertising expense. You can come back here this schedule is going to say that the next run date is August 31st, but you can edit it, change it back to July 31st, run the journal entries, and the system will look for transactions posted between today and the end of the month and allocate them based on the schedule. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about any of the features described in the video, or need training or support with NetSuite managers or transactions, please contact Business Solution Partners at the email or phone number on the screen. Business Solution Partners is a NetSuite partner and a management and consulting firm specializing in cloud-based system implementations. Their staff members and management team include CPAs and certified solution developers with over 25 years of experience in accounting and system implementation. Visit us at bsbny.com or follow us on Twitter and other social media.